Hey Tommy, this is uh, the Grand Wagoneer concept. And if you want luxury and you want to go overland, this is the vehicle to do it in because uh, this is top shelf everything. We are in a leather lined behemoth here. MSRP on this vehicle, over $100,000 in this Series 3 Grand Wagoneer. And we are going through Moab here because Jeep have actually customized this vehicle as one of their Easter Jeep Safari concepts for 2023 to be a really cool, super luxurious overlander. Yeah, so what do you need for an overlander? Of course, you need a rooftop tent. And this has the, well, let's call it the earth roamer of rooftop tents. We'll show you that a little bit later. Yeah, the creme de la creme of rooftop tents, but it also has all the luxury features, luxury features you come to expect in an expensive, you know, beautifully equipped luxury SUV. So we've got heated ventilated seats, we've got the heated steering wheel, we've got the full seat control here, we've got massaging seats. This has got to be one of the only vehicles ever equipped with massaging seats and 35 inch tall tires. You know what we don't have? What? A rear seat or seats. Yeah, so they took out the rear of this vehicle to build a little lounge area complete with plants. Yeah, and complete with uh, like room for you, your loved one, and your dogs, <laughs> because this is such a giant vehicle. And of course, they opened up the roof to allow you access to uh, this luxurious rooftop tent that we have on top of this. And we'll show you that in a second. And as you guys know, we are here at the Easter Jeep Safari, and we are checking out the latest uh, batch of concepts that Jeep builds every year to showcase some of their uh, latest and greatest new vehicles. Yeah, that's right. And you know, usually it's Wranglers, maybe the occasional Grand Cherokee that will get customized for this event. But today we are in a Grand Wagoneer, you know, Ooh, and we're a little bit stuck. Well, nice and slow there, Dad. I'm trying to give it a, just a little... Trying to get up this slick rock yeah, section. Yeah, look at that. Well, that's the thing about taking a big old... Heavy vehicle off yeah, road. Yeah, modern... The modern version of the family truckster up a very slick uh, but uh, up a very slick rock road or off-road but this uh, vehicle is of course designed more for you know uh, let's call it Michigan than Moab yeah and and you know when you think of this vehicle's competitive set the over hundred thousand dollar large SUV you're looking at vehicles like the um, Cadillac Escalade you know the Lincoln Navigator and you would never bring a Lincoln Navigator or Escalade out here. At least not a new one. Well, not a new one. Maybe a used one with some mods. But the Jeep folks wanted to prove that with a little bit of tinkering, you could bring their large lux, uh, bl luxury um, barge? land yacht. I almost said barge. It's not really a barge, is it? It's a barge. Right. It's a barge. And look, air suspension. Yeah. Which, which allows this to have bigger than standard tires. Well, why don't we show them those right now? Well, air suspension and I think a Sawzall is probably a good way to describe it because in order to fit 35 inch tall tires on an independent equipped Glad uh, Grand Wagoneer, first they of course lifted it with the air suspension, but then they've also gone ahead and clearanced a lot of the wheel well so you could fit these chunky mud terrain tires. And this is such a funny thing to see in this class because you know, you expect to see 22s and 23s and huge uh, low profile tires, but here we've got just a small, I think it's like a 17 inch wheel, maybe an 18 inch wheel, and then you've got these uh, chunky KM3s. One of my favorite looks out there, but they did some other stuff in the exterior. So they blacked out or they grayed out a lot of the chrome. They've given it some graphics. Yeah, it looks like a topographical map of Moab potentially, huh? And then orange accents, the tow hooks down here, so you got real recovery points, and I love the way they incorporated this winch. Now, this is, of course, a concept. It's not something that for sure is going to make it into production, but I'm hoping that maybe this winch mount does, because the way it's flush mounted against the front, you can see it doesn't have any extrusion out toward the front bumper. Very elegant, and they gave it laser beams. Yes, and Tommy, if you want to come out here and uh, go explore the wonders that is Moab, uh, check out our partners, Onyx Off-Road, because they offer maps uh, that you can download to your phone and then rate the trails or have them be rated so you know where you're going and how hard it is to get there. Uh, so shall we show them the inside? I want to show them the laser beams. All right, show them the laser beams. Check that out. It's got quad laser lights, folks. How cool is that? And I want to show you a couple other things on the interior because they have done a few changes here and there. They have actually incorporated this plaid material inside 
the, the main seat bucket. Really nice look. There's dad lounging in the back. You got your little plants back there too. I do, and look at all the speakers in the roof. This is such a cool little place to hang out, dude. And they gave you a little portal to actually open up and get into the Red Tail Overland rooftop tent, full carbon fiber, by the way. That thing's pretty crazy. And you can even see, they've thought about lighting on the roof as well with those lights. Dad, they gave us some Easter egg. Should we see the Easter egg? So check this out on the underside of the tent. Every Neiman Marcus sucks. Black Friday is my cardio. Freaking laser beams. That's what I was mentioning earlier. So what the Jeep guys did, which is cool, is this rear sunroof has been removed. And now, look at this. You got a little porthole into this rooftop tent. You got a little uh, fan up there. Got some lighting. It's a hard shell carbon fiber design. Got wood paneling in the front. So if you want to, you know, get cozy out on the trail, this is not a bad solution. All right. Back on the road in now the Jeep Grand Wagoneer, or maybe I should say back on the trail. And this is something interesting. This has the new inline six cylinder turbo, the Hurricane engine. Oh, got a little bit of scraping going on. They probably could have clearanced the front end just a little bit more. Fully independent suspension. Pretty soft ride quality though, overall. Come on in, Dad. So what do you think? I like it. It's a big beast, though. Yeah. This is a heavy machine. And a couple of good things we've got going for us. We do have a proper low range, which is going to magnify the uh, the available torque of that engine. We also have a couple different off-road modes as well. I'm going to leave it in the mode to have it set in. The ride quality is OK. It's a little bit topped out on the suspension, I think. Um, but really got a nice kind of compliant ride overall on some of like the head toss right you're not getting a lot of head toss on this vehicle which is good um but it's a behemoth dad yeah i mean you it's know, a big boy this is uh, perfect for moab because it's wide open here but imagine if you were like in colorado and you had uh, let's say aspen trees or conifers everywhere it does kind of show the capability of the uh the grand wagoneer though you know it's a vehicle that the Alfred community hasn't fully embraced, partly because it's over $100,000 for some of the models. But uh, clearly, there is some potential for a really cool, squishy Overlander. Yeah, you know, uh, for a long time there, uh, the Wagoneer and the Grand Wagoneer were kind of sell sold as their own brand. And now uh, they have been reintegrated. Into the Jeep world. Into the Jeep world. So uh, these are, after all, Jeeps, right? They they, they, they were competing with the Range Rovers of the world, uh, but now they're identifying back as Jeeps. Yeah. First time driving this new inline six turbo versus you, the old 6.4. What do you think? It's pretty good. You know, yeah. we're going nine miles an hour, so it's really hard to tell the character. It's a very quiet, very smooth engine. Although I will miss that slight burble of the old Hemi. You know, that little blah, 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 blah. This is a much kind of quieter, refined ride. You know what the best part they did on this vehicle was? What's that? They blacked out the B and the C pillar. And they got rid of all the chrome too. Yeah, notice? it makes it look a lot less like an airport van. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a big fan of chrome either. I think chrome had its day back in the 60s and it just keeps hanging on for some reason. Yeah, uh, but I gotta say it's a pretty, pretty enjoyable driving experience. Maybe you know, 50s, huh? I think I was wrong about the suspension. The more I drive it, the more I realize that this four corner air suspension is actually pretty compliant. I'm getting a lot of Range Rover vibe from this, you know? When you talk about three row with some capability, Range Rover is basically your only option. Well, Lexus LX, but so many of those have such large tires. So you're going to shoot you going over these rocks to show how this thing I'm going to go to the right, I think, Dad. Right, that's fine. I'll, cool. I'll shoot you anyway, might as well. Right. Look at that, deployable steps, how nice. Um, something that is also problematic off-road because if you park on a rock... How am I doing over there, Dad? You're great. Oh, yeah. Just cruising it. Pretty cool. This is a vehicle where 35 inch tall tires look like 28s because it's such a large slab sided beast. 35s don't look crazy at all on this vehicle. Ooh, sandstorm. 
You're better, so far away, Tommy. Better put up the windows, Dad. We don't <laughs> want to get the, the wood covered in sand. You got it. Hey guys, so thanks again for joining us for another Easter Jeep concept and go to Alt TFL if you want to see more of the wonders that is the Easter Jeep Safari and what Jeep and Mark have done and JPP have done to make the brand more fun. See you guys next time. Ciao.